No matter how life goes One thing I know The most I never fail Why you so worried about me? I don't know what I'm saying I don't know what I'm saying When you open up, open up your eyes Wake up, no compromise Come make me slow the beast in a disguise Make me slow the devil in a disguise When iniquity fills up the earth Beyond the God, look out for the worst Plagues and disasters, mama, she a perch Lives would be taken, many will be hurt Precious blood has saturated the dirt Woe unto woman in this time will give birth The whole nation living in a curse Moving backwards, stuck in reverse Queen Mega, Omega in the building. How are you? Yes, how are you? Definitely. Oh my gosh, I'm telling you, it, 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 it's so, it's so, it's so, it's so good, and, and and I should say, I must say, I'm so happy having you here. Thanks to Sharon Love from the UK who made a big effort in having you here today. Um, yeah, we're streaming and we're streaming. Sharon, pick up yourself. As I say, one of the biggest followers there and stuff like that. I, 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 I sat down and I go through your bios. I go through things about you on social media. And you have me in this, what I should say. I looked at certain things, to be honest with you, I looked at certain things on a different prospect as, you know, listen to your liberty, your way of growing up, similar to something that how I was growing up in, in, in Jamaica. But then you have a additional, like, different meds, wearing, like, to me, every female have a meds like that, 
it will be crazy and do so much firm especially women looking out for themselves because especially yeah. and what i like with you with you you demand not you demand it physically but the way you sing your lyrical you demand that respect yes you sir. understand you demand yeah. that respect now i want to talk a little bit about you just a little bit about you growing up which you were not queen omega then but just growing up i don't know if you want to give your your government name or stuff like that even though i know it but it's up to you if you're not you could go go right into you growing up nice yeah um i grew up amongst four boys so I yes. grew up in a, in you a were home the fifth with, you know my four. brothers i'm the only girl you know <laughs> mm -hmm. and because because of that um from very young my grandmother named I would, she called me queenie Mm -hmm. And she said that that name would stuck it stuck on me. You know, she told my parents that name gonna stick on that girl in the queen. But you know, being the only girl amongst those four boys, I had a lot of responsibility. You know, and but I was always, I had a, I knew that I was special. Mm -hmm. I knew that I was special for some reason. I always knew that I was special, and I carried about myself like a queen because of that name queen. It mm -hmm. was so now for me even from young, and I. My father always used to tell me, you know, you have to make me proud, you know, you know, you have to, you know, you have to make me proud. So these kind of things stuck with nice. me as I grew up, you know, and I grew up in, a, of course, I grew up in a Christian home, you know, my mm -hmm, family yes. didn't go to church per se, but we used but, to keep our own family devotions, you know? Yes. And I, every six of I heard family, of that. I heard of that. Yeah, Devotion time. Mm-hmm. My dad used to call us for us to keep our own little reverence, you know, and mm -hmm. that's where I really learned and developed that love for the Almighty and, you know, love mm -hmm. for nature, really kind of yes. developed my spirituality from, no from young. Yeah. Now, now, I noticed that, as, as you say, you were the, the, the fifth person from four boys. Now, you didn't grow up as growing up as them little tomboy thing and stuff like that. You have to prove, yes, and sometimes yes, you have to beat them up to uh, to get your respect too. I was the middle though. I was the two <laughs> oh, boys he was in the okay, and then two boys. So Ooh. yeah, I was like in the middle of these four boys, and I was like within a hard rock and a soft place because I have two brothers. I'm looking up. And yes. then they have two brothers looking up to looking, me, so I was mm -hmm, like a big sister as well. Yeah, yeah, and I had a little, I had to show that kind of role model. There you know, you I go. could remember, I could remember when I started to adopt the Rastafarian faith. My my two younger brothers straight away they followed me. They stopped eating me. They wanted to grow their locks, everything. So wow, from very young I had that that kind of um influence in my family, you know. And I and I noticed your mom plays a big role big role yes. in your life also and um that was it at 16 the omega came on added on yeah that was at that 16 she yeah she had that, that was on that i was a teenager still and um, mm -hmm. but i had a burning passion for truth and i really wanted to know who i was in my black skin you know mm -hmm. and you know embrace and be black conscious and you know, I love myself, you know. I love a quote. I, I love think a... I was mm -hmm. 18, I think 17, 18, between 17 and 18, yeah. When I oh, really they are made it added on. And make, yeah. Okay. And that's now, when I get the name. Now, you, 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 you made a big statement in the interview, and I like that. You, you, you know, you believe in the Old Testament. That it says that a woman should not wear men garment. Break that down for me. Well, you know, as a Hebrew Israelite, you know, as going through my spiritual journey, it had certain mm -hmm. things that stuck with me. And from very young, when I started to read the scriptures, it just had certain things that when I read it, I knew it was for me. Mm -hmm. I, I, it just, it just, you know, it was like wow. And when I read that, I was like, okay, because then it talks about. It talks about how we dress it talks about how we eat everything i mean the law is there and everything yes. is in the law diet yes. you know yes. social how we interact with one another our dress code how we worship everything and it really caught my attention i was like 
this is the way I have to dress in order to mm-hmm. get respect as a woman and as an empress because I was a young girl yes. and I wanted to earn that respect. Demand and I was that respect. Like this. Yeah, I was dressing like this from a from, from long time. I, I give up pants from a long, long time because I understand that mm-hmm. we, break the, we break the law in so many ways, you know? Yes. We break I the was, law in so many ways, yeah. I, w- I was raised up as a Sunday Adventist, so you know Sunday Adventist back home how Strict. it is thank Strict. you port in a touch in at the house no way whatsoever no, <laughs> so you know the whole routine <laughs> that's why i said you know certain things about you i have experienced that you know growing up and things like that now yes. we're gonna pass that part now when you know you start singing you did a lot of what i should say um competition talent competition and stuff like that and yeah you aced it now your teacher your teacher your teacher um i think you did a a, a song your, your teacher wrote a song or something like that yes she did yeah right and it was a it was a it was a calypso song yes you sang it aced it win now she made a promise to you saying that you tell her if you if she sing if she wrote another one something will happen that she had to do something or something like that you remember what happened after winning the, mm-hmm. the first competi- um, calypso competition she said to me if i won that she would have took me on one of the biggest <laughs> talent show at the time which was there you go under, yes right Yes. So I won and she did make sure and carry me on this talent show and it was a great experience. I think it was nine years when mm-hmm. I made my first when I made my debut on the national television. It was nice. Oh it my was gosh. Really I, nice I can't imagine that experience that you know and then yeah. everybody was like talking about you, this, that and yeah, stuff like that. Yep. I was always famous from growing up in school because I was always singing. Of course I born with this voice, so with this mm-hmm. talent. And this voice, you know, growing up in a Christian home, you know, you're going to be told that you have to sing for the Almighty. Of course. Of course. So my mom told Definitely. me that from from quite young. And when she told me that, I had to make the choice what type of music I would sing in order mm-hmm. to, you know, praise the Almighty. And from growing up in Trinidad, it was hard for me to to do soca music and, and mm-hmm. calypso music because kind of like party music, you know. Yes. And I and, 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 <laughs> and, and right. think it would have fit good to put the message across. And then it, that's when it would I not. Said, well, that's what that's when they decide to do the reggae because it's hard for you to put the the blaze, the fire, the positiveness on a soca rhythm, which is much more exactly. faster and stuff like that. So when you go, exactly. how do when you, you fi- understand when mm-hmm. you understand music and the vibration that it brings? Reggae music already bring a vibration, yes. mm-hmm. that kind of positive. So it was quite easy for me to just write my songs and place them upon this rhythm and place them so, upon the oh yes. it was natural it was natural. oh my gosh no i i want i, I want to ask you i want to say this you started out also for most people don't know start singing calypso before yes. you know as you said and most yes, people didn't yes. even didn't even realize that now exactly. you did you did Kenny Phillips studio. Yeah. <laughs> First thing, ah, you did the soca dance all. Yeah. And that's the one that that that's the one that 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 brought a recognition to London. Yes. Especially to Very the true. UK. Very that true. brought that recognition for you. Yeah. Now, a lot of artists. And you know, I had this big discussion with somebody because I'm showing off on you now, right? I'm talking all sort of <laughs> things now. I said, listen to me guys. Two female in the reggae fraternity right now that they demand and they have to get that respect. Marcia Griffiths and you I've been arguing. I say, I say, guys, debate with me. Beat me to my opinion. <laughs> you tell me which female out there right now, culture. I'm not talking dance song. 
No, no song is no, like no. tomorrow, whatever. Contra music right now. Yes. I used to argue with them and say, listen me, Trinidad used to beat Jamaica with putting a culture artist. They used to argue with me. Right now, Jamaica, when it comes to cultural artists, they gotta walk away. You understand? Wow. The two the two places right now that's push cultural music. Cultural artists. Yes. Gambia. Gambia yes. and which is number one and true mm -hmm. still hold that. And I will stand by what I said. You understand? People who know music. I know what I'm saying. I've been doing this since yeah, no. 89. I've been pushing yeah. myself, pushing music. So I know when yeah. I tell people, and if you want to argue with me, give me the facts. Because I go for the facts. I don't go for this yap, yap, yap. Queen Omega right now, Marcel Griffiths. Those are the yeah. two pioneers right now. Nobody sure. cannot tell me anything better. And I was glad when you did. You was able to meet Marcy Griffiths and you did a tour with her. Yeah. Come on now, talk to me. Give me that experience, yeah. love. Give me that experience. That was amazing. That was amazing. I was just about going, getting into the U.S. You know, mm -hmm. and I had a couple of shows, and my manager at the time, Tula Kata, she was like, "Listen, Master Griffiths is on tour, and you have the opportunity to join." I was like, "What? Mm -hmm. Come on, man, don't do this." And it was, <laughs> it was so sweet, and she's so cool. And easy going, such a queen, real regal, humble, D you know, down to earth. yeah, real humble empress, you know. And it was a beautiful experience to be on the road with Marcia, Queen mm -hmm. Omega, Queen Marcia Griffith. Come on now, come on now, come on. <laughs> okay, come on. you look up to Bob Marley, Steel Pulse, Congo, Burning Spear. Anything else you want to add to that? Well, I have a whole list, man. Out of LSD, list goes on. Oh man. gosh, the list goes on. Now, you. oh my God. Oh uh, yeah, yep. Now, your first, your first album, your first album. Yeah. You have collaboration on that. I was like, you go, girl. <laughs> Kipotan, Sizzler. All right, Doctor Mitch, Marshall, Bujo Banton, Gentleman, Anthony B, Jesus Peace, come on here, whoa! That's a blessing, you know. I I I can only say that's a blessing because I was very early in my career. I mean, my first album, I get to be able to have a collaboration with Kipleton and Sis like that. I mean, yes. a big stamp, you know. Yes. And it still is a big tune. I mean, it's a song that if it play now, everybody go crazy. It's still you, 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 you surpass what I should say. Collab with artists who've been in the grind for years, and I'm talking not small artists coming up. I'm talking established artists that I've never did collaboration with, especially on the album, with all those at the same time. Maybe one yeah. or whatever. So you surpass. Yeah past that which you're talking right now i'm looking at your 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 catalog right now i, I can't imagine you're building your catalog you know like when we had built our resume for the job and stuff girl your yeah. catalog in the music <laughs> is like yes yes because yeah. you started out your first album you hit punchline yeah, you man. hit punchline you know what i'm saying now yeah. i watch Last year I was supposed to went to Rotherton and I didn't. So you know I had to check you out being in Rotherton. <laughs> Girl, you came on the stage. It was like, okay, bring me through rehearsal for Rotherton. For 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 your stage of payment. How was the rehearsal? Because those bands were they were picking the notes and I noticed you have this thing where in you know what? A lot of band members love that. And you know what you do? You will go to like the drum and you will like for him to highlight himself. You know what I'm saying? And you will run to this other person and let them highlight that's themselves just, as a musician. That's just me Do having fun, man. Girl, I'm me. telling you. I am just caught up. When you say I'm doing those things, I'm just in my moment having fun because it's all about feeling good about what you do. Because if you're mm -hmm. doing something and you don't feel good about it, 
then yes. people won't feel good about it either so i always try to like have a good time mm -hmm. when i'm performing and that's when the people really feel and get everybody like involved and everybody yeah. involved in this yes 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 wow. it's my band man i love my band we've been working together for like three years now the royal mm. souls and nice. um yeah they are very professional musicians they all and they play really? a lot they, they play a lot like thomas Bursad, my guitarist he plays for coffee right so okay. they are well known okay. like the bass my bassist plays for johnny osborne so oh. they are like well known musicians okay very very known musicians you know and i really i'm really glad for the opportunity to work with every one of them because they're skillful and they are blessed that's why we say with the royal souls and we're gonna mash up the place there you, you know? go <laughs> all right i'm gonna i'm gonna ask this question what makes your music good for you hmm. that's a nice question because i'm a very hard critic and i used critic myself a lot wow um, yeah i have to feel it if i don't feel it then i i will scratch up that paper and write another song in a in a moment i really have to feel what i'm singing and what i'm writing the more i feel it the more i know okay this is truth and this needs to be written i need to finish this song you know okay. it's, it's a vibration you know all right I must feel, if, if i don't feel it then mm -mm, it's not coming from the right place what what makes you you write in a song now i've been with artists who i've been i've been with an artist who this is him he does not write on a piece of paper going okay. to the studio we get him joined you you, have, you know Carrie Kill? Yes. Okay, that's my boy. I sit right. there whole day with Carrie Kill with chill. Carrie Kill going run me said inside the engineer, run the tune. And you know him having mm -hmm. a split from him smoke and him him just going and he beat a fight. verse. Beat the yeah. verse, then he come back and come back and roll our meds and then go back in and stuff like that. I heard that Beat Man does something like that. And you have others yeah. who write on a piece of paper. Queen Omega how do you compose when you in the i want to walk me through you in that moment now like if you're you're walking down the street you see a dog run uh what happened a bird fly <laughs> how you go talk to me right it's so i don't even know how to explain it because mm -hmm. i normally i don't have a formula sometimes people say you know you should have a tape recorder you should be taping stuff because i hear stuff all the time Mm -hmm. I hear melodies all the time and I hear lyrics all the okay. time. But I'm a mom, right? So it's hard to just stop doing what I'm doing. My mom duties yes. to go and write. So what, what I think happens, and this is just something spiritual, I think it's a gift. Mm -hmm. It's stored in the memory file for some reason. Everything okay. is stored. And when I hear a particular version, mm -hmm. it something comes alive. It comes up like from deep down, like a, a wow. like a volcano, just bubbling wow. up. Wow! And then, according to how strong it is, mm -hmm. then I definitely need to grab a piece of paper and get this done. Okay, so now once you... it's written, once it's mm -hmm. written, it's done. Once I write it, the melody is sealed. I never forget the melody because it's it goes with the lyrics. It it's it's a magical thing. It's a magical thing. So do you have someone that do your your beats for you I for you to because no you could have you could have the whole format there but to find the rhythm the right rhythm to drop it on That's it. That's ah. it. So right now I think I want to start because as you grow mm -hmm. you know you do things differently so I want to try to make music differently I want to try to like sit down with a producer and like get some work done you know the real thing because most of the times I got a lot of versions from different producers and it's how I feel. Yes. If I don't like it, I don't force it, you know? Mm -hmm. And it's not just for the money because sometimes they're offering some nice money for me to sit yeah, on the radio. But, but again, but if I don't, if it's I don't all about it, you. It's you. Yeah. Yes. Once I vibe it, I love the rhythm. I, I do my work, you know? Okay. So your ultimate direction for your music is what? Hmm the ultimate direction mm -hmm. well my music i want my music to be able to make people think out of the box you know really i want my music must stimulate it must empower you know okay. it must uplift if i can't do that then there's no reason why i should do what i'm doing i should stop i should just stop nice 
I music like is that. healing, it's therapeutic, you know, and if my music can't bring someone out of a dark hole, mm -hmm. then I'm not doing anything really. I'm just wasting melodies, wasting energies, wasting breath, wasting vibration. I don't want to be a waste of time. I like so, that. I like that. Yeah. Now, yeah. now, I want you to look at this word, success. Not mm. the definition in the dictionary. Look True. at your life to where yes. you start, to where you are right now. Give me that definition for your oh, success. Man. Yeah, I could say I am on that road to success because it's been two decades and um, I'm, I'm still becoming a household name. I'm growing still and this is what I always wanted. I never wanted to reach a point where I die down, you know, with a way. I always wanted to keep leveling up, leveling up. And it's a, it's a thought. Yes. For me, success is um, really being true to yourself on all different levels because sometimes money changes you, people change. Uh -huh. I don't want to change. Yes. You know, I want to remain who I am regardless of my circumstance. So I think right now I am on that road because mentally mm -hmm. I am really my mind and my heart connecting like in one vibration right now. Nice. And I'm so much in control of my destiny. I can see in the next 10 years what I'm what I'm going to be doing because mm -hmm. I feel I'm so grounded right now. I'm so focused and I owe it to my fans, my musical fans because if I didn't have yeah, that definitely. support. Yes. If I didn't have that support, then man, I'm going to be would a be... nurse. Yes. I'd have been doing a normal 9 to 5 like everybody else. Trust me. <laughs> because there are times in the music it was really hard banger times and coming I know. from Trinidad too. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I had some and really banger as, moments. And as a female, yes. which you have to work double time. Yes, and then as and with this type of skin too. There you go. Don't forget mm -hmm. that. Yes. Because me a black woman, I'm a black proud woman too, you know, yes. and I carry about that essence with me, you know. Mm -hmm. And it's and I just, just to encourage my sisters too to show them that you're beautiful they, and you're they, clean they as well. Yeah. Now, what advice you ever given by a particular name? artist or someone who is very you know up there that give you that advice that you like wow have you ever been given an advice from someone yeah i've been yeah quite a lot of artists um as my as as i go through my journey um mm -hmm. jamison luciano yeah, okay. I, I i i i can say they're dear to my heart because you mm -hmm. know we had time to sit and reason you know mm -hmm. and like the the last reason i had with luciano he called me on he called me on on the stage it was a big show in trinidad nice. and um he called me on stage after our reasoning and you know he just reassured me that listen you keep doing what you're doing the world sees you Beautiful. we see you jamaica Beautiful. see you the world Beautiful. sees you you know he was like there's no one like you right now queen omega Hello. I'm gonna call you on stage, and I remember Hello. he said, and I was like, he was joking. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Now, my question that I want to ask you this other question: um, five albums. Yeah. Five albums. The first one, of course, self-titled, and that yeah. one was released in two thousand one. Yes, man. Two thousand one. What Jetstar is? You did a lot of things with Jetstar, right? Yes, I had oh. two couple um two albums after with Jetstar. Mm -hmm. uh, pure love, pure love, and away from Babylon. Yes. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Pure love, uh, and and away in back. Okay, yes, because um the fourth one, which is Servant of Jaarmi, that was did by. The, Destiny. They, I'm sure they forgot Destiny. Destiny. Yeah, Destiny, Destiny was the fourth cool. one. That's the one that opened the gateway for me to really be in Europe, traveling around Europe because I did this one with a French label, Special Delivery. Oh, because they have Destiny was done 2005 and 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 um. And Servant of Jaarmi. Yes. yes, which was 2008. They said. That's, um, that's Mad Professor Ariwa. Yeah. Ariwa. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Yes. 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 Rebel Salute 
Wow. 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 Well, you said I, I keep telling you, I'm digging, I've been digging for you, I've been digging. That's what I do best, love. That was good. I, I, I'm like, wow, I'm telling you, like, I'm telling you, your resume, like, it's, it's beautiful, powerful. Thank give you. thanks. Give, give <laughs> Thank thanks. You. Thank I'm telling you. you. Yep. Now, now. This is the thing that I, 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 I'm very proud of because, you know, I, I have book, you see, I have books, leaves and everything on you here. Now, you did, you headline, you headline a festival in Northwest World Music in, um, what's that, Oregon? You went to Oregon? Yes. And, and, and what, you, Eugene? Eugenie? Yes. Oh, yeah. Eugene, Oregon. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's, it's at Sierra Nevada World Music Festival, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. 2009, you toured Brazil and France. Yes. Yes. <sighs> I hope you 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 learn a little wee 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 not only wee 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 but you learn a little bit of French, eh? Yeah? <laughs> I mean, I'm, right now I'm compelled. I have to. I have to. I've been going there for so for too long, and I have too many yes. fans over there. So I have to to learn a little bit so I can really communicate proper. Okay. For those who log in, I want to definitely thank guys. Oh my God. Um. Um. Um, Mixcloud, you guys are going crazy in Mixcloud and Facebook. I have a guy shout, a guy shouting out from 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 South Africa, young master. He keeps shouting out, big up yourself, young master from South Africa. I see you there. Enough respect. Thank you for logging in on Facebook. I seen you making some shout outs there. Mixcloud, thank you guys ever. What I'm gonna do in a few minutes. I'm going to put the line open for guys if you want to call in and give a shout. Now, let me tell you something. Wow. Me is Queen Omega Protective Agent, you know. Me a bodyguard. So, <laughs> please make it short, spicy, and nice. All right? And don't be asking on any stupid question, no, either, too. I'm going to get myself <laughs> together. All right? You know some loving already. All right. Now... Queen Omega, now this is a thing that um, I, I wanted to ask you now and listen to me now. What characteristics do you dislike about yourself? Hmm. Very much. I, I have a, 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 a fire that mm -hmm. can be destructible. I think, yeah, my, I, I'm very hasty. I can be very, very hasty. So these things, these characteristics, I know that I need to work on because it can come across as arrogant. It could come across rude. But I'm, I don't let my fans see that. Only the ones screwing <laughs> <me. laughs> Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I have a fire. I have a serious fire that can burn down. Mm -hmm. It can burn down an acre. So I have to be careful of how I channel my fire in the right way. So, I think my weakness is my anger. I was just about to ask you, so switch it around now. Which you, which you, which you like, and you have the like and the dislike. Yeah. What I like about me, mm -hmm. I, I, I don't, I don't take no for an answer. Man. I never give up. You don't I'm look so like you don't look the type. <laughs> I never give up. I like the way Questing. that I, I, mm -hmm. I like the way that I can keep going no matter what i can get pushed down a hundred thousand times i will still mm -hmm. rise up this is what i like about myself resilient yes how do you from one to ten how do you rate your life performance life performances wow. your life performances from one to ten give me a rate I don't want to be bossy. I'll say it. You better be bossy. Are we a talk about? Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. Yes, what? Yes, yes, yes. You come out the stage. Come on now. It, which, okay. You give yourself eight. Yeah. I will give myself eight because I know. I know what I'm on. You know, you're, 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 you're leaving room for improvement. That's what you're saying. Yes. 
yet i'm i'm capable of of a 10 but it, it, it that's gonna come about with certain conditions and you know mm -hmm. but yeah i give myself an eight because i could do much more i i, I can do mm -hmm. so much more yeah all right now this is a question before i ever go to that question i like how you you turn you you, you turn your father from Barney to to Natty Dread. <laughs> wow! How you know? Na mm -hmm, talk to me. Influence. I mean, the only girl, right? So them seeing them only girl mm -hmm. doing things that you know it's kind of like taboo, or it's like you know. Is Rasta so people at that time and people was kind of skeptical about Rasta mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. me being the only girl, not one of the boys self choose to, yep. to grow their locks, their of their only mm -hmm. girl. So it was strange, you know. My parents looking at me, but then they saw a difference within my my attitude and my parents saw that I was into the scriptures more. Yes. And it just had a good impact upon them. It had a positive impact upon them, I remember. I remember when I left home and I wanted to, I left home because I say I want to live like this and I don't think living in my parents' house, I'm still restricted because they want to cook meat and I was the cook, by the way. Mm -hmm. so I still have to cook meat and I was like, listen. And I you love your ital. Yes, I want to really live this life because I think that this is what the direction I want to go and I remember, man, my dad calling me over one Sunday, come, come and cook some ital, man. We ain't want no meat today, this Sunday we want <laughs> And I cook up the ita and everything, you know, and as time go by, he yes. grows to lock and thing because he see that this is this is positive vibes, you know? Yes, yes. And and that's what happened, you know. It's not just you doing getting the locks done and all of that. It's the life that you were living. Yes. You know what I'm saying? True, so when they true. saw the life that you were living, so your grandmom saw that you changed. You totally because your grandmom came to you and said, your, your dad said the same thing that you definitely changed. So when they yeah. see that liberty that you bring, yeah, of course you're gonna command the rest. It transcends. You don't transcends, know him. Yes. yes. Because energy transcends, right? So if, it, mm -hmm. if it's positive, it's gonna be a positive yes. vibes too. Mm -hmm. Now this question that I'm gonna ask you is um, take your time and settle down before you answer this question now okay. you're in the Babylon system all eyes is on you now you have all different denominations different groups gay lesbian this that your lyrical content the message that you preaching everybody's watching you like this and True. you tour and remember you're touring all over europe let's leave let's leave Carib caribbean we had business so now you're touching areas that borderline a lot of your messages and everybody listening and they're watching because they just want you to come out with something where it all of a sudden demonstration when you're performing and stuff like that now queen omega you know what i'm talking about how do you channel yourself right now knowing your lyrical contents you're firm in your belief as a rastafarian we all know what rastafarian belief is but also when you're putting your music do you um i don't want to say you govern yourself but we got to be real with each other here do you be careful of certain things that you put out that may come back and bite you in the end of even course, though of your course. strong beliefs how do you go of about course. that talk to me of course, you see now, you have to be wise as a serpent and harmless as a dog. I like that. I like your talk. I, this is something that I, for some reason, I knew that there are certain things that it's just, you just need to leave it alone. And certain things are left better unsaid. And then, there are things that 
You don't need words to describe things are useless. Our words are useless when things are known. So I put all these, you know, ideologies together when I'm writing and I ask for that divine guidance because I still at the end of the day I want everyone to enjoy the music. Yes. Like you said, I want everyone to enjoy the music and I really don't want to offend anyone on in that level to bring no negative energy upon myself. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know? So I think I'm, I I always go with this. I always go with this on this length. If I think it will offend to bring a negative, I won't even go in that direction. I won't even I won't even utter. Because you have to be wise as a serpent, like I say. And harmless as a dove. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> I like that. I like I, I, I like like that. Ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to jump in and give you guys a performance. I'm going to jump on one of these videos that she have out there. And when we come back, do remember, you can definitely hit me on my, my messenger. Call me on my messenger and I'll put you for two. No other than Miss Omega, the queen herself is in the building. All right, Facebook, Miss Wendy. Oh, gosh. Miss Wendy, my Trinidadian queen. Rastafari and Queen, she's not the rule, I said Tripoli, but the car, my name, you know. Big up yourself, Miss Wendy. You know, say, Miss. She called me and she said, Who you have again? Miss the Fire. And a joke business, right? Miss Miss Wendy, no man. She said, Celestia. That's all she said. <laughs> she love you. Definitely yeah. big up yourself. Rastafari and lady herself, and also. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to touch on the music here. And definitely please enjoy and you see how 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 um Queen Omega how she go about she is very powerful when she goes about her music and listen to this track here. Let me go to this track, hold on. Hold on. When you doing these things that are people and long, that's that. That's in the next stream and life. So it's like a whole move. And right now I'm six. No, I did that one before. Six percent. Right there. Tell me who can I trust but myself? And not let nobody see your tongue, no. Don't let nobody see you when you're going down, no. Hey, cannot let nobody see your tongue, no. Or else they push you to the ground, no, no. Cannot let nobody see you going down.
say, don't let nobody see you going down. Oh, it's the push you to the ground. No, no, don't let nobody see you going down. Cannot let nobody see you when you're going down. No, say, don't let nobody see you down. No, oh, it's the push you to the ground. No, no, cannot let nobody see you down. No. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, hold on, hold on, dear. Yeah. Hold on now. <laughs> hold on. I gotta get back to I gotta get back to one more song, Queen. I gotta get back to this other song. I'm trying to find this other song because I I want to pop it. Hold on, let me see. Where's that song? Oh my gosh, let me see. Um, let me see. Nah, this is not the song. I'm telling you, it's. All right. Um, dirty mind. Is it dirty mind? Dirty minds need cleaning out. I will bring the broom. That one. When I beg Babylon. Oh, ah, uh, 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 yep, 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 yep. There you go. That's everything. That's the one. And now listen to me. Plan for the acapella because you're wicked in acapella. <laughs> okay. I'm 
Bam, 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 bam. Definitely Queen Omega is in the building. So what do I know? What's your favorite food? Hmm. Wow. That's a real trick question. I'm a simple, simple kind of woman. So I love eggplants, right? I love melon gin. <laughs> oh, you like the egg pl- you, oh, you like the eggplant? Yes, we have a way we just roast it down here in Trinidad. We just mm-hmm. roast it, and after we roast it, we just um, stir fry down with some tomatoes and onion. We call it choka, melanjin choka. That's like one of my favorites. I love breadfruit too. Breadfruit okay. down in coconut milk. What? Like one, one R- run down, we call it run down. Run down, but with no, because now um, I'm stepping into the vegan, so I stopped the fish, right? Because I was on mm-hmm. the fish journey for a while, and that was only because going to Europe. So now, like, run down with no salt fish, just woolly, but creamy goodness, coconut milk, and you can put some okras in there to make Ooh. it more gluey and woolly pimentos. Because I they love can't do that to my beard, making things that man. What are you telling me? Me, no, love sir. to cook. Me, I love cooking and um, I love to experiment too when I'm cooking. So I always like um, new stuff all the time. I always like the new stuff. So like one of the newest things that I did for my children, Mm -hmm. because I'm trying to introduce them into the vegan thing too. So I cut the okras in half and I make a nice batter with oats and stuff. Season up the oats and stuff and I dip the okra in the oats and I fry it down in coconut oil. And then yam it up. It's nice, you see? Chop. So, so much different things as a vegetarian, what? you know, you have to kind of like create different vibes. Yeah, man, all kind of thing. Well, I, 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 I like that. I like that. Yeah, it's bad, it's bad, it's bad. Just well, don't steal for a recipe, Don't yeah. steal a recipe, you know. Yeah, don't man, steal it. Nice. All right, guys, remember, you can call in, call my messenger. For those who have my messenger, definitely call in to say hi to Mr. Omega. All right, now. Who is your friend? Who do you call your friend? Well, my mom, I consider my mom a friend. You know? okay. I consider my mom as I grow and as we grow and as I become a woman now. And as I become a mother, I could understand what she went through and share with the pain that she went through. And, you know, even mm-hmm. counsel her too because she went through so much. and. We, we counsel each other when I feel like I under stress I call her and when she feel like she under stress she calls me She call you so you both strengthen yeah. each other. That's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Like that. Now Queen Omega hitting the road and I know you have three beautiful kids. It's three kids, right? Actually, um, you need to double up on that. <laughs> Don't eat no more of them things that we are making. You hear me? Don't tell you. So, me not touch it because the baby making stuff. <laughs> okay. I like that. Now, hitting the road, doing a Europe tour, and things like that. Now, how do you do the transition? Because you're going to be away for maybe two, three weeks, maybe yes. a month. How does that that. go? That's that's when what family comes in for you, uh, mama and grandpa come in. Yeah, it is. What I do, 
what I do, their father is there. And we had always made that, um, we had always put that before, even before marriage, even before the relationship. Listen, I'm a career woman, and mm -hmm. if we're going to have children, it's time to fly. You're going to be taking care of the children. That's of something course. that he knew from the beginning. So mm. when it's time to travel, they're with daddy. No trouble, okay. no problem. I can easily relax, do my work, mm -hmm. yeah, and come home to them. And they shower me. They don't give me a chance when I come home. <laughs> definitely wow nice but I, but you you know you know you know that what, what i li like with you also um your music when you're on the mic is is do you get hoarse sometimes I, because I, I can't tell you when last i i can't tell you when last i did maybe very early in my career but I, I, so I, you, I you, take you're care of myself. Mm -hmm. I really take care of myself. I'm very disciplined when I'm on the road. Very disciplined. And I carry my herbs when I'm on tour. Mm -hmm. So my voice never break. I eat my ginger. I chew my ginger. I do all I have to do. I have my cayenne oh, pepper. I have my honey. Yeah. I have the things what I need to do so that I my tools are working properly. All right. Oh, oh, st stop right there. Stop right there. Let me ask you this thing though. The sisters smoke weed, right? Yes, I do. Okay. So, so as a smoker, you know the lungs, cause I know you. When you when you sing, you could see everything coming up like this. <laughs> so, for you to protect that lungs, you you say you do the the cayenne pepper. You yes. just do your little transition thing to make sure everything. Wow. Yes, yes uh, I do. I ginger number one. To number one, my ginger. I and when I'm on so, tour, I have mm -hmm. pieces of ginger and always have lemon, ginger and lemon, always on my in my handbag. I always have enough to give someone. <laughs> Please. Okay. So I what do you do? You chew, you chew on the ginger, right? I chew on it. I make my ginger tea, and, mm -hmm. and sometimes, according to like, if I have three or four days in a row, I chew on a piece of ginger just to make sure I don't break. I chew oh, on the raw ginger, and after okay. and all the film comes up and naturally. You know, mm. herbalist, you know? <laughs> don't wow. take care of myself being a I'm mother. Telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I am, I am so definitely like surprised with, especially that with the ginger and you travel with it. That that that's that's good. It's on that's my rider good. too. It's on my rider too. So anywhere mm -hmm. the promoters know, listen, we have to get Queen Omega piece of ginger on her line. It's on the rider too. Okay, now. Which artists out there now that you haven't worked with that you've been admiring in the music business for a long time and you're like, you know what happened? I would love to do a, a track with this artist here. Steven Marley, for sure. Steven, Steven Marley. Marley. Okay. Burner Boy just got added to the list because I've been looking at Burner Boy for a long time. And now oh, Burner Boy up. from Ghana. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now he's boom up. So it still remains the same. I still want to do a collab with Burner Boy. I love me some Burner Boy. Oh my gosh. Nice. Yeah. No, Steven Queen Marley too. Oh, Steven my Steven Marley. oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I Beautiful. don't even want to talk too much. It will happen. <laughs> it will happen. Now, do you sing like if you're taking a shower, like if you're chilling now, do you sing your oh, song or you sing an, you Okay, but is there any of the songs that you normally sing and tune into? Yes, of course. Uh, I love music. I love music, so I, 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 I sing, I sing, I sing, I, I make up things, I sing, I reconstruct people's songs, I, I, I mm -hmm. fool around all the time. I'm always, I'm always making music. I'm always making music. Sometimes when I say something, yes, then I remember a song that goes with the line, and my children are like, Mommy, that was so good. I like ah. literally, there is a song for everything. <laughs> Yeah. They'd be amazed at how I, t I that I sing. The, I'm always singing. They'd be amazed that sometimes I say something, and then I break into a melody and I start singing. And I like wow. that's a song, you know. And I'm like, "Mommy, you're always singing and making up song." But they 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 have that gift too. So we're always making music in my room. Now, the song "The Fittest." That song says a lot for you. Oh yes. And why? It was a hard time. I think everyone was going through this. It was the time of the pandemic, right? And every, 
it was a moment of uncertainty it was a moment it was a scary moment mm -hmm. you know i alone wasn't feeling like that I, I had mixed emotion i was angry because i was like these people really doing this this is high wickedness on the highest level i was sad because it, i it, i couldn't believe that it was happening then i was afraid because i'm a mom too and i was like the future looking like a dim so it was all kind of mixed emotion and i was like boy only the fittest could survive this i say here goes a song this is a song i felt it so strong i had to write i had to write it beautiful the 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 the, the, the pandemic beautiful yeah yeah <laughs> for real they had us there boy they had us for one moment they had us man <laughs> I, I I I tell you I I I even heard the talk from you and I was like yeah she's on my level she's saying the same thing that I said and I was smiling you know of and thing. <laughs> Me and foolish, now, you know who wants to be foolish want to stay foolish that's but now ain't no time to be a fool because knowledge is 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 vast is given unto mm -hmm. all there we are in the time of knowledge I'm telling you now Queen Omega what should we look out for you look out to see coming from you now i'm working on a new album so for sure you can expect beautiful music more beautiful mm. inspiring music okay. and i'm putting together um a caribbean tour because i'll be oh, a caribbean tour europe. yeah so you're, you're going to touch the caribbean my european fans and family i love you all so much but mm -hmm. i feel like i've been neglecting my people you know my people from africa and diaspora and that's why i say i need to put together a caribbean tour and let my brothers and sisters feel that vibe too from their sister you know yes yes what? now now you've been called the trini the the, the trinidadian next british reggae sensation Oh, we have a pause in the cause there ladies and gentlemen we are talking to queen omega out of trinidad and tobago now guys if you need to call in call call in from my messenger and you'll definitely able to talk to her in the meantime i think um she froze just now so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna definitely go back and drop a track from queen omega and definitely wait until she comes right back to the forefront all right queen omega let me go back to will it recover that's the question to be 
Caring for truth in your season In the Garden of Eden Ladies and gentlemen, definitely Queen Omega. We're waiting on Queen Omega to definitely come back. I think she is having um internet issue and stuff like that. So we're just waiting for her to buzz back into the um the line. Um Sharon, um send back send back the link back to Queen Omega and so that she could come right back in, please, if you can. All right, definitely want to thank Sharon, Sharon Love for the opportunity to speak with Queen Omega. Definitely thank her so much. And um, ladies and gentlemen, let me get you one more thing because we're going to wrap up in a few minutes also. So let me give you one more track that I want to hear from her.
Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. The powerful, the powerful, the powerful voice is sorry, the powerful voice of Queen of Me. I tell you, that's not even so like a dub play. I tell you the, this is my first dub play miss it bad so trust me, the dub play are bad. Now, you know, we're wrapping it up, we're wrapping it up and thing like that. Big up little lion. First I was like, look at mine, it was in Europe, it's a Europe, European sound. It's a European sound, right? Yes, Little Lion. It's a European sound, a song from um, um, Switzerland or France. Switzerland, my... yeah, yes, I think European Switzerland. Song, sure. the, yeah, yeah, yeah. But what I noticed, I, I noticed... Uh, yeah, I noticed two dub plates you did in it and it's just seeing you in the studio working it you, you 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 put a lot into when you start singing your music it doesn't matter what you're doing you put a lot like you put a hundred in it and i like that you put a lot um yes as i i, I don't remember if uh we we finish that part uh, you know what uh what do you have come i know you have your, your, your ep is out already right Okay. Nice. Nice. Um, and we're not we're not hearing you. We we we'll lose your voice. We we'll lose your voice just now. Are you hearing me? Yes. What I was saying is, mom. Yes. Yes, I'm hearing you. You hear me? Yes, I'm hearing you now. Um, song that was talking about for my album Freedom Legacy. There is a tune, a big, big tune that you know when it was mm. dropped, it was creating a problem. Why? 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 and myself. Okay, nice. Now we have we have a caller from Florida. We have Jade from Florida. Definitely. Hi, Jade. How are you? I'm good. Now I wanted to say something to Queen Omega because she's here. Okay. Um, I'm calling. Not. I don't have a question for Queen Omega. Mm -hmm. I'm calling. Calling her to tell her that I love the vibes, love the music, and keep the fire burning love the music thank you definitely thank you she's much. telling you thank you so much jade definitely appreciate it thank you so much jade yeah. to call in and stuff yeah. like that all right okay all right definitely Blessing. love the yes. yes love the vibes love the music and thing now how would you like to be remembered? Like this, everybody that keeps saying you're powerful, you're powerful. So, mm -hmm. you know, I just, I just want that power to keep. People must know that this was a powerful thing. Hold on, there. Mm -hmm. But she just didn't like this. She didn't do. Yes. But she walked. Yeah. Okay, beautiful. Now, when guys, when you're calling, please, please mute, mute your speakers so that we could definitely um, hear what you're saying and not the background keep repeating yourself. Please mute. Um, Bev C from the UK. Bev. Hello. Bev. Yeah. Just trying to get my. Yes, go ahead, but mute. We don't want to hear your background. Go ahead. Oh, you up a bit louder. Okay, right. she's hearing you. I can hear you now. Bless love, Queen Amiga. Um, so my question for you is, what's been your biggest musical challenge so far for you? 
Yeah, Queen, um, she said, what's your biggest musical challenge for you so far? Um, sorry about that. Did you hear me? Did you hear me? No, no, we didn't hear you. No, I can't hear anything. My, my greatest, one of my greatest, one of my greatest challenge was when I had to um, perform at Rebel Solution. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. When she did Rebel Salute, Bev, wow, that's beautiful. Oh, wow. Yes. <clears throat> also, I have one more question for you. Go me. ahead. <laughs> you got a question again, Queen. Uh, right. Um, in the music business, um, people can be evil and deceitful. Has Queen Amiga ever experienced anything like that in her musical career? Not hearing you triple. Um, I think she yeah, I she froze. Yeah, she froze. Yeah. She froze. I think she having internet internet issues mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Um, okay. All right. Thank you, Bev. Thank okay. you so much. All right. One love. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. She's having um internet issues here. We just wanna have her. She come back. Then we definitely um wrap this up. Let me see if I could get one more track with her. And then we definitely, but I'm definitely loving the, the the whole aspect of Queen Omega here. It, 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 it's 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 a blessing. It's a blessing. She's definitely very powerful, and um, I just can't wait to especially see see her, you know, perform live on the stage. I think that would be so so powerful just to you know have that experience, you know?
beautiful. I have two more questions for you. I have two more questions because I noticed you have internet issue. Now, Philly, she is she she have um speech impediment, so she texts me on my phone to ask. I know you have said you have answered the question, but I guess she came in late. She wanted to know who is your favorite artist. So she gonna tell you, Phyllis. Uh yeah, right now I'm really into Prina's boy music. I really, really, really love Prina boy right now. The Afro beats mm -hmm. thing, it have it have a vibe. It's, it's high energy, and mm -hmm. on the mornings I love to put it on so that I can do my you know house duties, you know cleaning and everything. So yeah, Prina boy. Yes, nice. Now, Queen Omega, I wanted to do. A acapella for your fans then before you walk out through the door. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dying for this one. You, you know, I don't know what to do. Um, you, you, the, the, you know what? The work that you did for um for for the dub play that you did for Little Lion that 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 song do the song in acapella. The um oh my gosh, it's one uh, it's one of my favorite. The um, more love. Is it more love? No love, no love in them heart. You see them got no love in this world. When they lose them soul under my control, they need us. No love, no love in them heart. You see them got no love at all. That's why this big system is up with all Queen Omega faith. You got to really deal in righteousness, equality for the people, wants peace and justice, freedom of choices and the right to take a stand against the great deception played upon the nation. Me no need no classes to see that them no care, them up to kill me, ambition and spoil me career. Look all them poison the atmosphere with all them hatred and greed, injustice and fear, cause them got no love, no love, no love them heart, we see them God. No love in this world, many lose them soul under my control. Don't call me low ball, I'm international and me go ball. I'll tell you this, don't call me no local artist. I like that, the, 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 the lyrics where they don't call me low come internet. I love that part of the lyrics, I love that. Um, One more thing I want to ask you. Because I noticed when, when your, your, your vocals, when, when, when you're on the track, I, I know sometimes I think you work you, you work with the same producer at all times because you know sometimes when you do a recording and you leave the studio sometimes you know sometimes you really don't have a control over it but sometimes them tweak your voice sometimes and things like that do you have control over your vocals like this is how I want to sound I don't want no sound like no auto tune like like me chipmunks or whatever you want your audio like how you want my it to be my vocals don't my vocals don't really go good with water tune so i mean if, if the producer wants to put a like a tweak i mean he has to know what he's doing because if he overdo if he over if he overdoes it it doesn't sound right because my voice i don't know for some strange reason auto tune don't work with my vocals it just doesn't work okay it sounds really strange so I think that was really made for people who can't sing proper to make you mm -hmm, mm -hmm. To make it you know, but I, yeah. I, I hit the notes man. Yeah, I hit the notes. So I don't um I want I work with different producers, right? I wanna when I work with them, they always say to me that they're glad to work with me because I'm easy to work with. I don't know why they say that, but they say I'm easy to work with and one of the reasons why they like to work with me, they don't have to do much work on, on my voice. Because I oh, sing on the okay. key, I sing the one key. Even if I go off key, I can correct myself. I'll be like, it's not much, that again. right? I yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. Nice. Not for them, it's not work for them at all. You know, they just rock back, they press the red button, and let me do what I have to do, and I clean up my mistakes, and I put my harmony, my backgrounds, everything, because I. I'm very, very particular so, with her. I'm I was just about to ask you. So you do you 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 do yeah, your I own harmonizing? Okay. Yes, I do my work, man. I put on my track. When I finish put down my 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 track, 
we listen, we make sure that everything is clear, the verse is the melody. Maybe we can mm -hmm. change something, but most of the time when I go to the studio, it's done. You don't want to go to the okay. studio and still have to like rework the song. So we do all of that while I'm at home. I vibe my okay. rhythm at home. I take my time. Nice. Sometimes I put the rhythm on and I'm cleaning and doing everything and I'm just letting that rhythm soak. So time I'm ready to write, I'm sure there's a melody, even if I didn't do anything. Because sometimes mm -hmm. there's hundreds of melodies while I'm doing my work I'm pulling around. But when it's time to, to really work, I've nice. got that melody and it's done. So I'm in the studio now. It's just for me to lay exactly what I was doing lay down. and make sure that it's yes. laid proper. So I don't need to yeah, I don't need to with my recording, man. And my favorite part it's is putting all the harmonies. That's a favorite part. Beautiful. That's an entire Beautiful. Fun. Yeah. Queen Omega, thank you so, 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 so much. I mean, we, we definitely going to contact you because Minute from the Dub too. You understand? So, yes. we definitely will touch yes. base with you. Because <laughs> Sharon just texts me like, Triple, remember to mention your thing. So, we definitely going to talk and stuff like that. And I got people behind me also with that. Queen Omega, thank you so much. Empress. Pleasure. You deserve all your things. But before, I want to say something to your fans then before you, you go. You want me to say something to them? Say something to your fans to say, now, yes. Oh, God. Yes, I just want to say blessed love. I'm lost for words. <laughs> My heart is so full of gratitude. I'm so thankful. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the support. For keep reposting and sharing. Because if it wasn't for your love, this would not reach where it, it reached. And I, as an artist, I would not have been able to reach this far without your support i mean i'm literally climbing on your backs thank you so much for being strong for me you're welcome. thank you for your you're listening welcome. here yes. and yes. i just want to yes. let's all shine let's all vibrate high please, i like that we are gods goddesses and yes. queens so let's vibrate the highest and be the best version of ourselves love thank you so much definitely love respect manners and everything and the whole to you and your family and thank you for those good music that you've been putting out and trust me me now start beat it on the turntable you get me guys again thank you thank you guys in in, in, in um facebook because i got like four of my facebook is going and of course my hometown mix cloud i see you guys in there ch chatting and talking about her thank you so much queen omega one love one aim one destiny thank you so much thank you guys and we are